Hey guys, Eric Barfield here. I'm going to show you today how to quickly install the Nord Stage 3 Worship Collection 2 onto the Nord Stage 3 right here. And it doesn't matter if you have a 76 version, an 88 version, 73 version, it's going to be all the same. And it's not terribly hard. Let me go ahead and show you how to do it real quick. All right, so if you've bought this collection, the first thing you should have is the Nord Stage 3 Worship Collection 2 downloaded to your downloads folder. I have it here on my desktop because I pulled it out. And I'm going to just double tap it to open it, double click it. <laughs> we live in the iOS world. This will take just a second to unzip. Mine's running a little bit sluggish today, but usually this is really fast. Once it's there, you just simply double tap it again, double click it again, and it's gonna have a few items here that we're gonna to need to know about. For starters, we have the uh, manual. This will give you the, the details on how to install all of this. So basically what I'm, I'm showing you here, but in more detail, and I recommend even if you've watched the video, looking through this manual. Second thing will be our archive file here, a patches list grouped in banks, samples that will have all of the different individual piano samples here, sample library which includes like all of the uh, audio based samples in this collection, and then synth presets which is brand new to version 2. And there are 169 of these. So the first step we're going to need to do is make sure that we are connected in the back here with my USB. And you can see just a regular USB-C, or I'm sorry, I think it's a USB type B slot. And you just plug it in the back and then plug it into your keyboard. I'm gonna move my keyboard back in place. Then I'm gonna need to go to Nord, uh, let's see here, I'll go to nordkeyboards.com and if I don't have it already, I need to get the Nord Sound Manager. It's under software, it's free. Obviously, I've already installed this. And there, once I do that, it will then bring up my program that has all of the information about all of the sounds installed on my keyboard. Now, yours may look a little bit different because I have the worship collection already installed because I just made it <laughs> and um, so yours is probably going to be filled with different presets so for starters there are two ways to do this the first one is to install using an archive file that's my favorite way it's super super easy to do you can swap in different archive files for different situations so for instance you can load up the worship collection when you want to play at church and you could load up a second um, group that you like maybe of all the patches you're currently using and use that when you're maybe playing I don't know like a rock show or something so to do this if you want to do this first method the first thing you'll do is you'll come up and hit backup because you want to save what you have already then you name it you save it to somewhere you can remember I can hit command D to get on the keyboard to go to the desktop and save it. Then once you've done that, hit restore. Restore, then you go to wherever you saved your patches. I put mine on the desktop. Go down to this file and click open. When it does open, it'll start waiting to verify the backup file. And it'll say, the contents of your instrument will be replaced. Do I want to continue? And if I have not backed up my stuff, I would say no. But in this case, we'll hit restore. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because it's already there. So that's option number one, the archive file method. The second option, which is a lot more work, but good if you're a pro player, is the manual option. Manual option is going to be where you drag in each individual set of audio files, presets for pianos, your programs, 
and then all of your synth presets in here and merge it with your current setup. This is a lot more work, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So the way to do it is you come over here. I've got my collection here of patches, piano samples, sample library, and synth presets. I'm going to start off by going to the piano samples. On the piano samples, I'll come up here to this little tab and click piano. On piano, here are all the piano samples I have currently loaded in. They're kind of spaced out like this, um, be, or they may look like this. If I'm using command O to organize them, I would use, um, they will all kind of spread out like this. Um, as you can tell, these are different than the versions that you may have in yours. And there's a couple ways that we can get around it. First of all, we could go through and delete any sounds that we're not using. And there'll be a little tab right over here for, um, for any sound that you're not using, it should say unused. Um, I'm using all mine, so I, you don't see the tab, but that's it would be there, <laughs> trust me. Um, so that's the first thing. If you still don't have enough room, there's a couple different ways you can get around this. First of all, you can go to Nord here, uh, Nord Pianos, or Nord Keyboards, excuse me, .com. Go to Sound Libraries. Go down, select your instrument. And by the way, there's a hot link in the manual for this, so you don't have to, to follow this. And then you could go through and individually download smaller versions of what I have. So for instance, I have a White Grand XL, which is 244 megabytes. I could download the White Grand Small 67 megabytes and swap that file in instead. And it's not gonna mess with anything. It just won't be as high quality sound. It will still sound really good, but just not quite at the same level. So that's the easy way to get around that. The second way that you could um, mess with this would be to swap in a new piano sound for each one of the presets. So if I come back down here, let's just say I go to, let me find a piano preset all the way here at the beginning. Well, if I go to here and say I don't have the white grand, for instance, let's pretend that I haven't installed that. I can come down over here and click this knob right here, like that. And I switched over to Royal Grand 3D, and then I just hit Store twice in order to save it. And that's a way you can get around never having to touch this section. So that's the hardest part. The rest of these are going to be a lot more straightforward. Um, the next step would be to move all your samples in here. Um, if you just simply come down to the sample library here, hit Command A or Command All, and then just drag and drop this in, it's going to say 63 samples already exist. So it will give you, it will automatically reject all the samples that are already in here. So all you'll have to do is just find, make room for the samples that are not in here, which should be somewhere around 20, I believe, if you have the factory installed. So I'll hit OK. And then the next two are even easier. You'll need to clear out space on your bank I, J, K, L, M, N, O, N, P. It's 200 patch slots. <laughs> That's a lot of content, but it also takes up a lot of room. You don't have to install all of these. You could just simply install a few at a time, or you could just simply save everything in these banks. X by hitting uh, sound up like this, and then you could select by the bank. So I could sit here and go, let's save all of my I and upload. And there you could save all of your presets there for a future date. Or um, you could simply delete them and install it here. To install these, you just come down to the piano, or I'm sorry, the patches, go to the banks, and then just drag these in. And these will go in any bank you want. They're just labeled in the order that I programmed them in. And also, so you can just grab all of them in 25 
um, 25 patch things and drop them in. The last but not least is the synth presets. This is brand new to version two. In order to do these, you simply select them all, then you come over to your synth spot, you drag them in, you drop them into empty spots, and there's a lot of room on most people's spots here. You shouldn't have to have room, and there's only 169 presets. And then that will come in place, and that will do it for all of the install of the manual method. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks so much.